Hello and welcome to video 10 of my series explaining how I set up Microsoft Flight Simulator using Axis and O's with the X-Touch Mini MIDI controller and this video will look at the layer B buttons. Well there's only six that we need to program so this shouldn't take very long so we'll get started on these. We're going to allocate them onto layer B and the six buttons here in the corner. So as before we'll have the camera pointing at the actual MIDI controller and we'll bring up axes and O's. And we'll start with the first one which is the direct to button. So we'll add that and put that in here. So I've already got the 1000 MFD filter working. So we'll apply that filter. Always go for the HTML variables out of preference. And I'm looking for the direct to which is here. So we'll allocate that. Make sure that we're on layer B. Direct to done. Then the next one to add, I'll do the flight plan next. So we'll add using the same filter the MFD flight plan, FPL switch push and add that. Now we come to the clear button. Now the clear actually has two presses allocated to it. There's a short press that just clears the entry you're making and a long press on the clear which closes the page, the sub page and brings you back to the map. So we need to allocate two functions to the same button. Let's do the short press first. And there's the clear and there's the long clear, but we'll do this clear first. So double click and that's the ordinary clear. Allocate that and click on add. And now we do the long clear. So add And it's the long clear and we tell it it's a long click and you can set the time for that but uh, 400 milliseconds seems to work it's almost half a second you have to press it for quite a time and we'll click add allocate click done so now it's just the bottom row so menu next And there's the menu push, done, add, procedure, there's procedure there. And the last one is the enter button. Int push add done. And then we'll just check they're working. Okay, so We'll try the direct to and that gives us a chance then to uh, enter where we want to go straight to flight plan let's try the long clear 
hold the long clear that works let's go back to flight plan menu procedures yeah we can select procedures and the enter button works so everything's working on that side So we've got all these buttons left here unallocated. Currently, currently I've got them set for the ACT responses. So if I look here, let's put in ATC. And I've got them set for the various options that come up on the menu. I don't use them very often though. Um, use the keyboard a bit more for that it's easier to find so other things we could apply are the pan functions that are available here currently I've got the range available so I can change the range but to make it pan across, you click on here, which brings up an arrow, and then pan across. And when that arrow hits the side, it will push us across. It's a very slow process. So you do need to change the range if you need, actually want to get anywhere. And carry on pushing across. And they're available in axes and O's if we want them. So let's show you where they are. And you'll see there's joystick down, left, right, up, and the push there. So we could put those in. Well, technically, you could think about putting those in. I never use these, so I haven't bothered programming those in. Or the comm selector, so which mic we're talking on, what we're listening to. So there are different uh, buttons you could apply to it. But what I'm going to do now is save this setup as a template, because then we can apply that to other aircraft. So template save the current setup and I'm actually going to overwrite my half written G1000 and click save yep we'll overwrite that so that's done because what that means is, uh, means is I can now apply that to another aircraft so if I select a different livery have a quick look outside have a look at the aircraft so it's a whole different paint job what I can do now is apply that template to that livery and I don't have to program all the buttons in again okay next video I'll give you a quick guided tour of the various functions that we have plugged in and uh, show you how they work. Okay, see you in the next one.